Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, a long time, no film, but I'm really glad um, you could join me today. So I wanted to flip through my old uh, author tube slash writing bullet journal with you guys and give an update on what's been happening since I've last posted on this channel as well as set up my new bullet journal that I will be now working with in terms of my writing projects and things like that so yeah get yourself comfortable maybe grab something to drink and I hope you guys enjoy the video I also apologize for the lighting situation it got dark real fast when I decided to finally film this video so hopefully it's all right so flipping through got an index here which I barely referenced I have a writer's affirmation, a drafting schedule, which I never really used, that's okay. I have a books to read list of writing related books and personal, which I'll probably move this list elsewhere. I have this author tube tags and challenges spread, which I wanted to paste the thumbnails of all the videos, which I haven't done. <laughs> I have a Save the Cat Beat Sheet overview and this really came in handy a lot. I did reference this quite a bit when I didn't have the actual physical book on me, so that was good. Here starts my October spreads with a title page here and then I have some highlights of the month, like the projects I worked on, the videos and the books that I read as well as total words. I then have a Preptober challenge page which I did finish and a daily word count tracker for the month. I also have a beat sheet tracker which I didn't really reference. I have this writing sprints tracker which I didn't use that much but I definitely did more writing sprints. I just yeah must have written it down somewhere else I guess um, yeah so I also have this October writing log which I loved writing on the spread and just highlighting how my writing went for the day and what I was feeling in terms of um, my progress so yeah that was really fun I have a few notes on writing the first draft because yeah it can be very daunting I also have this little YouTube Kanban board to help me organize videos I was planning um, and posting on this channel. Next I have some social media trackers. We've got an Instagram one here and a YouTube one which I haven't updated them both um, because we have reached a few milestones like the 200 subscribers on this channel which has been freaking amazing I, I can't even uh, I can't even describe how excited I was when I saw that um, yeah I really have to thank you guys um, it's just been an amazing journey so far I know I've been MIA for quite a bit but I want to get back into creating more content for you guys and yeah I'm just so excited that you joined me here on this channel um so getting back to the spreads we have some readathon um related spreads here with the hocus pocus readathon and i loved this one that i did for team undead as you can see i didn't end up reading all the books but that's okay <laughs> And then I have a Preptober checklist of things I wanted to do before NaNoWriMo and then a little monthly spread to write down um, the dates of like live streams and write-ins and things like that. I have a reading tracker here and also a place to put down book reviews of the books that I read that month. Next I have the Witchathon Readathon. Um, I didn't really participate that much but 
yeah I still made the spread for it I guess I had very ambitious goals <laughs> in October um, and then I have a list of things to do before Nano um, and yeah I think next starts oh no wait we have a word count tracker um, and that was just for the project I was working on at the time for October and then starts my November spreads with NaNoWriMo. So we have another calendar here and just some info on when I wanted to vlog and things like that and um, if you've been up to date with this channel then you would know that I only posted a week one vlog and things kind of got a bit hectic after that so it's pretty evident with the rest of this journal because I left a lot of unfilled spreads um, like this NaNoWriMo achievement badges page because I sort of stopped participating in NaNo last year because I had a lot of stuff going on and yeah writing wasn't really my first priority when I got to the middle of November so yeah unfortunately I didn't finish NaNo last year. We have another reading tracker here and my book collection which I am still building I have got a lot of ebooks though, so I do want to improve my physical library. I have books to buy, which, yep, pretty empty. <laughs> library checkouts. I was taking some notes on annotating books because I found it fascinating. I never thought to do it for like fictional reads, so yeah, just noting down some things for that. Next I have some questions and notes that I took while I was working on my story. We have the writing log for November which you can see really displays how writing went up, <laughs> how um, my writing sort of stopped happening in November. Favourite book quotes which I didn't really fill out the spread either, and my NaNoWriMo printable tracker which I loved making this if you guys want one for this year's nano definitely let me know and I will create another free printable for that more notes some things I wanted to fix for later once I finished the draft of this story we have a self-care bingo printable this was from page as little and yeah I started completing it. I have some more notes and to do's pretty much for my project. And we've got some more word trackers which I started. I was planning to do a 6k day which never happened. Just a lot of challenges and trackers and things I just yeah ended up not using. And then I got to the end of 2019 and I was like, okay, I'm going to do a title page and, you know, 2020 will be different and yeah, so that didn't really happen, as you can see. I had the skull spread and I didn't fill it out, um, yeah, because writing was still something I was struggling with at the beginning of the year. So none of these spreads really got finished or filled out, which is fine. Ideas I have for videos in the future. Then I have a book review and I decided to do a new title page for the rest of 2020. do's and just a like a readathon tracker so I could sort of pre-plan readathons I wanted to participate in and record my favorite book of the month and this is the readathon that I chose to do for September which is the Bratz readathon um, which I haven't marked off the books yet yep um, I have some fast drafting notes place to put down the books I'm reading and the rating I gave them. Mm. 
I have some notes on the Story Toolkit workshop by Rachel Stevens. This was an amazing free workshop that she did and I thoroughly enjoyed it so much. It has completely changed how I organize my writing projects um, and yeah, it's actually, it's actually really simplified it but it just works really well. I'll probably do a video on this soon so I can share it with you guys. I have an empty book recommendation spread. That's fine. Just some books on my Kindle that I haven't read yet. And then that is the end of this journal. So I have some blank pages still, but I'll probably use them for script notes or video ideas, things like that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that flip. And we'll move on to setting up my new journal. I already had put the sticker on. This was on my last journal and I just decided to put it on this one because I really like the sticker and why not? <laughs> I also have some other stickers. These are all from Redbubble by the way. I get the majority of my um, journal stickers from there or I get them from Etsy because there's lots of great shops on Etsy so yeah if you're wondering. So at the moment I'm just trying to figure out where to place them and yeah, you'll watch me fail at sticking. So in terms of what happened last year and where my channel sort of took a pause, um, I had a lot of life changes going on in November and NaNoWriMo was just not happening unfortunately, um, it just really clashed you know with my physical life but also um, mentally I was really burnt out and you probably would have seen by my um, my vlog that I was sort of in between projects and I was deciding what I wanted to do and yeah I, it was just too stressful for me to sort of worry about what I was trying to work on as well as what was going on in my life so ended up dropping writing completely, which really sucked. Um, I just didn't have the motivation to do it, unfortunately. So starting this journal, I wanted to transfer my writer's affirmation that I had in my previous journal, because I do look at that from time to time and I thought it would be a nice positive thing to start this off. So as you can see, I'm just writing down affirmation here on this craft paper and I have my old journal next to me so I can write it down. So in terms of moving on from NaNoWriMo, um, I do suffer from a few mental conditions and it was just really impacting my life at the time and I was, yeah, like I mentioned, really burnt out and I don't know. While I enjoy writing as um, a hobby of mine, I do put a lot of pressure on myself with it because I do want to publish one day, um, but I don't even, you know, get to the point of finishing a draft because I am so hard on myself and yeah, the motivation just isn't there a lot of the time when I start to doubt myself. I'm sure. A lot of people can relate to this so I just wanted to I don't know sort of mention it because it is a normal and natural thing to feel as well and it happens to pretty much everyone you know in various degrees um, for me it's something that not just my writing alone but some of the mental things I have to deal with provide a lot of challenges in my life um, in many ways so yeah unfortunately it affects my writing as well and yeah it just was not happening which is okay I guess I am sort of getting better with um, trying
trying to not be as harsh on myself and I think working on this new project that I am picking up now and continuing my my writing journey will definitely help. So pretty much that was me for the rest of 2019 and the majority of the first half of 2020. It's only sort of since July I would say that I have decided to continue pursuing my writing um, as a more full-time thing while I'm stuck at home. Another thing besides getting back into my writing that I want to do is to get back to this channel more consistently because I love being part of this community and I love providing content for you guys. Obviously it hasn't been happening, but this is me trying to make a new start to that. I still can't even believe that I'm able to do this and, I don't know, interact with you guys. It's just, it's, it's been amazing so far and I, I really want to keep going with this. So now you will see me put some papers together and sort of try and make a, a little collage for a title page. So that's why I'm sort of just shifting them around. As you can see, I have a love for craft paper, but I have some other patterns and things. And yeah, the majority of my spreads in this journal are pretty simplistic. Um, so really easy to copy if you want to incorporate some of these ideas into your journal. But um, yeah, sometimes I do like to get crafty, as you can see by some of the spreads in my old journal. But I definitely took a more simplistic approach for this new one. While I've been still semi-active, I definitely do want to get more involved in this community, especially through this channel, um, as well as like live streams and making sure I comment as well. I just really enjoy, um, you know, talking about our different projects and seeing how we work through them and just really supporting each other. I, I really just, I love this community so much. <laughs> I feel like I'm always saying that, but it's true. Um, you know, especially for those of us who can't go to someone, um, you know, in our real life, we have this community to turn to, which is really nice. Speaking of this community, I can't believe that over 200 of you follow this channel. <laughs> That's just really amazing to me. How thankful I am that you've decided to join me on this journey, um, which has been slow so far, but you know, I'm getting there. Everyone has their own path, but yeah, I just really want to thank you guys for keeping up with me, even though it's been hard. So next I am going to make this calendar spread, as you can see by all these boxes. I'm going to do about four months worth and this will be used to write down any write-ins and live streams, just writing related events will all go in here. It's also a place I can note down when I start a new project or like a different phase, like this is when I started revising it or things like that. Um, as you can see, I made a mistake here because, yeah, October does not start on a Monday. Just write down the dates at the bottom. Next, I'm going to make a writing sprints tracker. I didn't really use this that well in my last journal, but you know, gonna try again. <laughs> I would like to have one place to just consistently see how many words I write on average. I think also keeping track of your writing sprints can really help with creating a writing schedule for yourself, because if you know how many words 
you can do like in 20 minutes or an hour. You can sort of set word count goals for yourself more easily. And next to it, I am going to do my October, October. I'm going to do my October title page. I'm just pulling out some stickers because I wasn't really happy with my writing. I couldn't write October. Um, so I decided to use my vintage looking um, label maker instead, which I really liked the look of. So my next few spreads are just going to be sort of list ones. So I've got a Preptober checklist and then a video ideas list. So I'm just going to make headers for that. I'm also going to link in the description box a few author tubers that I've been enjoying a lot recently that, I don't know, I feel like are underrated. Um, and definitely deserve more love. So yeah, if you're looking for other author tubers to check out, I will link them down below. My next spread is going to be my October writing log. So this is where I am just writing like a sentence or two on my writing progress for the day. So any highlights or things I want to improve on. Um, yeah, basically it can be anything just to sort of see how I went on the day with my writing. You can also use this as a place to write down your daily word count if you don't want to do like a daily word count tracker. So in terms of what I'm currently working on, um, I have come up with a new idea which sort of sprung me back into writing more consistently um, this past month. And it is a, how much detail should I give? It's a, so far it's looking to be like an urban fantasy. I mean, that's pretty much my favorite genre, I can probably say. I don't know. I've been really getting into thrillers lately as well. Um, but yeah, that is what it's looking like at the moment. I'll probably give more details in another video, but I'm pretty excited to write it. We'll probably, I don't know, I could see it being a series, but I am obviously going to start off with writing the first book and see how I go with it. If I can start it before Nano, then I will probably do this project for NaNoWriMo as well. So yeah, we'll see how I go. There's the title, using my label maker. And that's pretty much it. So here is a final flip through. Hope you guys enjoyed this video um yeah drop a comment down below let me know what you guys are working on if you set up a journal like this for your projects as well keep an eye on the channel and i'll talk to you guys later bye